Hey, I'm Derek Panza here with this week's 10 minute technique. I'm with my buddy Marco Rivera. Um, Marco has some unique credentials. We're here at Beth Francis Powerhouse Gym. Marco, um, most of you probably know from bodybuilding, competed professionally as a bodybuilder for many years. But little known fact, I know it, Marco also competed professionally as a boxer. When he was half the size and had uh, 80% less muscle on him. A whole lot less. A whole lot less muscle. Marco was a professional boxer. So um, Marco and I are friends. We just train at the same gym together. We train people here, we work out here. But we don't actually box together. Like this is our first day ever doing any type of contact together. Um, but when I watch Marco hit the bag, I know we have very similar fundamentals, a very similar foundation. And um, besides just getting along with friends, I thought Marco would be a perfect addition to our crew here. So today we're working on a basic block and counter. Marco was blocking my left hook and countering with his left hook. Now this kind of continues the theme from the last two weeks where I was with John Gotti and he was catching my jab and shooting back different counters. The theme is the same with every type of counter strike technique. It must be instantaneous. Too many people block, then counter. It takes too long. I'm saying it like that on purpose. Block, counter. It has to be block, counter. Almost simultaneous. I'm gonna take off my pads for a second. So if Marco and I are squared up fighting, we, we both fight out of a conventional stance naturally. Actually, Marco can fight with both sides forward, which is unique. If I'm going my left hook, I'm aiming right for Marco's neck and jaw. He's gonna block instantaneous. The moment he feels my knuckles just touching his glove, he has to start firing back his left hook. If Marco waits even a second, if I actually strike and then he waits and pauses and tries to fire his left hook, I'll probably already get my right hand off before that. In general, most good fighters punch in bunches. It's very rare for one punch at a time, which I'm off with a great. It's combinations, combinations, combinations. If I'm throwing my left hook at Marco, probably automatically my right hand is coming back, whether it's a straight right, an overhand right, a right uppercut. But I'm always thinking about the combinations, the firing in bunches. As a matter of fact, I just used the word think. I said I'm thinking about the combinations. It's actually the wrong word. I'm not even thinking about them. I'm programmed just to fire in combination. It's not even thought. It's how my body works. I punch in bunches. So Marco has to counter me before I get more than one punch off, especially if it's the first punch of the combination. Before I put pads on, we'll do it slowly. With Marco's wearing gloves. I'm not wearing gloves. Too bad for Marco. I throw my left hook. Marco blocks, and it's instantly throwing his left hook right back here. He's gonna literally aim his fist at my neck because if he aims at my neck, he'll still hit the bottom of my jaw. Plus, if he's a little off target and goes up a little bit, he still cracks me in the ear or the temple. Also good knockout points. And jaw is the best for the knockout shot, but you'd rather miss the jaw and hit something and aim too high and then hit nothing. Relax, Marco. So I'm gonna use these paddles. Now, paddles are relatively, I don't wanna say new to boxing, but they've become a, kind of a new craze the last like, two, three years, I would say. Yeah. I like them a lot. I like them a lot because I can fire techniques a little faster at the fighter I'm training. Also, for my wrists and elbows, they're really comfortable. All right, so we're gonna be really relaxed. Now remember, this isn't rehearsed. Mark and I don't train together. We don't know, even know how to flow together yet. But I'm gonna just throw my left hook and Mark is gonna fire back his left hook. Mark, keep it real compact, real short, real quick. Let's get loose and relax, loose and relax, okay? Good. Again. I'm gonna do a couple just like this. Just watch these. Because I'm gonna correct Mark in a second. Now, me correcting Marco, I don't mean that in a condescending way. No matter who's doing pad work, there's always mistakes being made. If it's reversed, I'd be making plenty of mistakes, I'm sure. But Marco's already making a mistake. I'm gonna see if he works it out on his own right now. Let's see if you can pick it up. Okay, what I wanna change here is that 
Marco's arm is coming out a little bit and he's kind of using his bicep too much on the hook. I don't want him to use his bicep at all. I like the way he positions his hook. I want his arm a little more compact to his body. I want Marco to feel like the hook comes from his hip. When your hook comes out wide and you use your bicep, you inadvertently use your front delt too. It becomes more of an arm punch. I want everything coming right off the hip. Boom, right from the hip. I turn my left hook, I mean I turn my left foot, and my whole torso rotates. But I'm here, I'm not coming out first, then pulling back in. Now, what's the difference? When Marco comes out a little bit, it slows down the reaction time. His arm, his fist is traveling a greater distance. I want to shorten the distance that his fist travels, so it hits me a lot faster. So real relaxed. Keep the hook a little more compact. All it needs to block one, then block two. On the third one, count to okay? Just block. Again. And fire, ready? Keep it short, ready? Go. Good. Again. Again. That's already like way better, instantaneously better. That's because Mark was an athlete. A small little correction. He knows how to do it, how to implement it. He's already firing back faster. Let's do it a couple more times. Watch when Marco blocks, this is important. As Marco blocks, his right shoulder dips in just a little bit. So does his right hip. It's very subtle, it's almost hard to see because Marco's wearing a baggy t-shirt. But what Marco is doing is this. His hip and his shoulder dip forward slightly. It's not a big movement. Most movements in fighting are not big movements. I think Bruce Lee called it economy of movement. It makes sense. You have to move as economical as possible. A small, minimalistic approach to fighting. What that does is, when Marco dips forward, it actually helps him absorb the impact. His legs and body act like shocks, like a car has shocks, the same thing. Then, it coils his left shoulder back just to drop. So now, the power for his punching comes from his hip, his shoulder coiled back, it's his thigh, all these big muscles we're actually using now. See, if Marco came out wide, he only uses his bicep. But when he stays compact, everything on the left side of his body is gonna generate power into the hook. It doesn't have to be a big punch, but it's explosive, it's fast, and it hits hard. Let's do it again, Marco. Let's go slow three times, slow. Boom. Good. Again, watch the mechanics. Boom. Boom. See the slight dip? Again. Boom. That. One more time. Now we'll speed it up. We'll go like maybe a little faster now. Good. It's a little faster. Good. Again. You still see Marco dipping a little bit and firing back. Now that your eyes are trained to see it, you'll probably pick up on it when you watch pros fight. Go a little faster now. I'll go faster and faster. Each one, ready? Real relaxed. Again, real relaxed. Again. Again. Faster. You're relaxed. Now, this brings up a question people often ask me. Should I go faster or harder? I hear this all the time. You might hear this as a trainer too. Faster or harder? Faster is harder. The faster you punch, the harder it hits. Speed is power. They're not separate. If you come from a weight training background, which I'm guessing you do since you're reading Muscle and Fitness, if you have ever done powerlifting, you'll know that to be strong and powerlifting, you have to be explosive. If you're bench pressing as heavy as you can, you're not going slow, you're going as fast as you can. The weight might be moving slow because it's so heavy, but theoretically, you are firing as fast as you can repeatedly over and over and over. And that's what Marco's doing here. He's relaxing and exploding as fast and hard as you can. That's our 10 minute technique for the week. A basic block and counter with the left hook. Block the left hook, count with the left hook. I'm Derek Panda with Marco Rivera here at Bev Francis World Champion Gym for Muscle and Fitness. Thank you.